looking for as they come up third down. Now it's gone. This pass complete to Reynolds. And the Lions are going to have first goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw. A nice work after the throw. And they're set up now with a first. And in for the Lions. are able to cut into that deficit. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And it is good. It cuts the lead now to 11 and 24. the Buffalo Bills and they're not going to play this conservative I don't think they had a field goal last time and they're up but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone oh I agree with you totally no one is, goes out on the field and says all right let's just settle for three except in certain situations trying to ice a game that sort of deal most of the time it's end zone and that's what you're thinking and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one yeah no quarterback ever goes out there saying hey, let's get three right <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met well, normally you see three tight ends in a formation you have to think to yourself this has got to be a run and I know as a safety when I saw that I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage instead they threw the ball and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup here's Allen on first and ten it's Knox the tight end making the catch and they'll get him down on the other side of midfield and a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game and super some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands but could not hang on. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we're at halftime here in the annual Thanksgiving game in Detroit. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much, and welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one time to this point it's a two touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the second half so let's get you back out as well to brandon godden and charles davis all right coach thank you and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three bills with the lead and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway from his end zone isaiah mckenzie and they'll put him down right at the 25 yard line so the same result and he for the touchback. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Out come the Bills now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead. Now a chance to expand upon that lead here for the first five in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game is a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it. And in addition, set up the pass really well for them, too. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. 
And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 22-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. 97 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. On play action, Allen. For the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That's not the first time they've gone his way on this drive, and they were obviously keyed into him because they were there to help break that pass up. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. That'll go as a pickup of eight. They definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. Allen off the play fake. First down went in the wrong direction. They're at the 13-yard line. Here's second and goal. Here's Allen to throw it. That is caught at the seven-yard line. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. They get the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They'll try and run. Here's Singletary. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Tyler Bass out for the Bills' field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will add on to their lead. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he's going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. These guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage will be found. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves them with third and about six yards to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Goff. Open man right side is St. Brown. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. It will be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. 
Here's Stephon Diggs as he and the rest of the offense get ready to go again. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see if they adjust. And when they do that, they do the defense in other places as well. How many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? It's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. From the 24, Allen, that's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. He'll mark him down at the 39. Well, they go with a slant that time, 15 yards at a first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he works his way forward. He got four yards there. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes. Or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. And it's going to be another touchdown as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 39. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Blitz coming, and down he goes. So back to the sack. Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Back to throw. yard line. That one good for 16 and the drive will continue. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on because right now he's been so much out of the field. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what kind of coverage can be put out there to try and slow him down? Deshaun Elliott up to make the play defensively. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves. Start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. On the ground with a tight end. He is taken down at the 21 after a short game of two. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving the ball all game on the ground. It's another one that keeps them moving forward. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Now Allen. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm not sure that there's necessarily a safety valve or check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Team now they work on first and ten. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And strong right there as he's inside the ten and down to the eight-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They'll get this halfway home from the 8 to the 4 on a game of 4. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the 1. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So 
So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Allen now on the sneak. And no signal. I don't think he got the surge behind center. No, he's going to be kept out of the end zone. We're on to the fourth here on Thanksgiving Day. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Shot from the one on second and goal. Singletary will score. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 24. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Throwing again on second down. Goal. Drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. The Lions on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and eight. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift, and he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. Well, the screen gets seven, but it's not enough, and it'll be fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. And he's going to have the Lions first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. To throw is gone. Wright's got it. And they're going to get this up to midfield. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But they turn that lead down to just two scores. That's still a benefit to this squad. To throw again on second down. Goff. He finds his man. Complete. It's right. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 27-yard line. 15 yards there on the catch and run. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Looking to throw again on second down. Golf. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Throwing again is gone. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Desperation time for Goff on fourth. 
to go for it pays off with six points and now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two Goff looking to throw looking in zone but it's incomplete I don't know about you but I can't wait for a few years of two point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football. You're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They call it a loss of a yard there. And that's going to make it fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. Allen going to go on fourth down. It's complete to Diggs. And he is going to have the Bills first down as this defense, boy, a little too loose there. They give up a gain of 19 on fourth down. A give up the middle to Singletary. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Amani Oruwarie. And the Lions are going to take possession here. It's a touchback. to the air here after the INT on the last drive. A oh, contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. On the handoff, it's Singletary. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy. And he's got his tight end knocks for a Bills touchdown. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Bills have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick. 
take it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Goff. Throw to St. Brown. Complete on the left side. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Goff. And right with it here over the middle. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. On first down, it's gone. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Now a first down throw, gone. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. Touchdown! Jared Goff to Amon Ross St. Brown. And the Lions have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the Bills, and that should all but do it. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. And Allen is actually going to throw it here. Caught right side, Davis. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Allen. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. A second timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. On the give, this is Singletary. And he'll get inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They go right back to Singletary. And he'll be brought down this time at the 5-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Devin Singletary, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Bills tack on another score as they have dominated this fourth quarter.
And this win now going to look a little more lopsided on the scoreboard, CD. Now, some may have run out the clock in that scenario, but they wanted to put their foot on the gas, get one more touchdown, and they did just that. Well, Parker, I would say the traditionalists not overly excited about that score. They'd like to see the game played a little bit differently. But what you can't argue with is their execution of that play because it played out exactly as it was drawn up. It almost would have been a shame not to finish with such a well-run play. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. It certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all Today, from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, it's a special Thanksgiving Day presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. see Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys taking on Daniel Jones and the New York Giants. Well, the roof is closed, but as you can probably tell, the mouths of these Cowboy fans could not be more wide open. It is a frenzied AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, our Thanksgiving coverage continues with a good one here between the New York Giants and the Dallas Cowboys. It's a tradition that began in 1966, and off we go on a Thanksgiving afternoon in Dallas. And the opening kickoff will not be returned, as that will be a touchback. The Cowboys taking the field on offense, and for a seventh season, it's Dak Prescott who brings him out. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. Dak going to start out going to the air. Man open. That's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Off the play fake, Prescott. That's caught again by Schultz. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Prescott to Schultz there for the Cowboy first.
Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And that's going to be caught downfield by Brown. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 26. A really good pickup of 28 yards. So the drive takes them into Giants' territory now. First and 10 at the 26-yard line. Buying time to his... And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott. It's complete to Brown right side. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Well, safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now 4-4, four of four, but might need to be 5-5 five of five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get away from him flinging it because 4-4 four four already, I think he's got a good chance of picking this one up here on third down. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. Got a man, it's Brown. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Now Elliott, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. They got to love that. Nine-play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and pick things up and create what will happen. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Turn sets him up pretty good here, right at the 30 yard line. Here come the Giants, led out by their former sixth overall pick out of two back in 2019, Daniel Jones under center. We knew about the great mind of that to do, the athletic ability and the potential. Watching it all come together and get better with each passing year, that's been fun. He can throw it deep, throw it short, and of course take off out of the pocket and beat you with his legs as well. Now Jones. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they'll take incomplete. I had a defender running right with him. And now it's third down. Throwing Jones. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Jones to Galladay, first down Giants. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. This seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot. And they respond well there. You go three and out, I think you get up a lot of momentum. You get down 
two scores could be an entirely different game. They've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? Jones thrown by Bellinger. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. On first down, Jones over the middle, caught by Bellinger. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Seeing from this offense here on the first drive, a nice sustained series to begin the game that will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. No gain on the play. And that will bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get this one. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. And they'll get him down inside the red zone at the 14. It's also a gain of 14. First down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a third down. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive here, second and 11. And he can't quite get there, tackled down at the one. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. They go play action here on first down. He's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Tanner Hudson, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Giants respond to drive touchdown with one of their own. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. They'll try to run it here. And he'll get in, and they take an 8-7 lead. And seven zip, they said, we'll go for two, one up you, and they take the lead. How about that for a little risk-reward, right? If you don't get it, you're only down a point. Let's go ahead and make a statement in this ball game, and that's exactly what they did. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And it will come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive so to see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? And he is going to lose yardage here. He winds up giving a yard back to two. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can get yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't. His fourth catch already in this first quarter. It's a first down. Inside give to Elliott. And he's going to get this pass to 50 and into giant territory. A gain of three, second down. Again, it's Elliott. He'll take this down to about the 38. 11 yards, and the Cowboy first down. The effective opening quarter for him, remember.
Humphrey had the touchdown run earlier, and if he pops more of these 10 to 20 yard carries, could be a long game. Yeah, those types of explosive runs bear down the defense. I think they need to add more people to the box, closer to the line of scrimmage, force them to throw the football, and see if they can slip down that way. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he will have a Cowboys first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for him. Oh, Prescott stripped, and the Giants have it. It's picked up. Set up shop at the 32-yard line. He's under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. In, in the meantime, the defense, they took it out of his hands. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack, put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free while doing so, oh, there's the bonus for you, the defender. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game from the 38 Jones and this one incomplete too much contact to hold on to that one and it's third down one thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air and I'm not sure that he didn't but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. On third down, Barkley. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. He'll get 15 and a Giants first down. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but did not hang on. <laughs> on second down, here's Barkley. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Love the play call that time. Love the design. You put three tight ends on the field. That screams jumbo set, running formation to a defense, right? No, they go play action, and defense gets confused for just a split second. And next thing you know, completion for good yardage. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. spot for Jones and the Giants and that's going to be incomplete the contact there enough to jar that ball free and it brings up fourth down so now on comes the field goal unit and wow this is no ordinary try here Gano's kick is good and the lead grows to four it's 11 to seven So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. <laughs> 
And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, touching the end zone without turning it over. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back. Let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 42. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. So the drive takes them into Giants' territory now, first and 10 at the 42-yard line. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Prescott. And that's Elliott, complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. The Cowboys on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and five. Rolling to his left. Oh, Prescott stripped. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And this is taken into the end zone. A fumble recovery and a Giants touchdown. time he's lost a fumble this one hurts more it's returned for six he's been under a lot of duress hasn't he pressured hurried harassed the whole game well the offensive line not giving him a lot of help not a lot of help but the bottom line he's gonna take care of the football you know the extra point and that pushes the lead up to 11. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. track and get us going in the right direction so you're calling plays geared to them not necessarily what you look at your plays oh this hurts the defense i want the ball in the hands of x y and z and see if we can move forward so don't get too cute go playmakers good pick up that was a fun one to watch right there a nice in breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field and he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw pulled in by Lamb. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Second and five. Now Prescott. And he'll go right back to Lamb. And he'll work this down inside the 30. Down carry by Elliott. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Big Leonard Williams, the one who came in and got him. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Elliott going to get it again on second down. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves them with third and still nine to go. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On 
third down, it's Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. Over the middle, complete. That's Schultz. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll bring up second down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. the middle. Here's Elliott. And it worked his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. It's largely been the air attack that's gotten him down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pick up there on first and goal. started the ascent here with that score. I like that, right? They've, I think they've left base camp now, there okay? So they've started to move their way up the mountain. Long way to go, but at least they know it's manageable. An extra point by Moore, up and good. And the lead is down to four. Following touchdown, here's Moore to kick it away. is out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another football. They're hoping for a tackle. I'm with you on that. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what Put you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. That one a first down pick of eight. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Here's Jones on first and ten. Going right side, he finds Slayton. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. A first down carry for Barkley. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Second and five now. And it's a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. They decide to air it out a little bit on that play. Took a shot down the field, but the coverage was really nice. Able to get a hand in and tip it away. Up the middle with Barkley. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for first down. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll go to 
Barkley again. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Off the play fake. Jones. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Really nice job by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. But the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try to knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That would be a holding penalty. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley taking it in from two yards out. And they are able to add on to their advantage. That almost looked too easy. And I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee and he'll take over at the 25. And now here come the Cowboys. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this. If you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch. It's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive to last into double-digit snaps. You need a score here, not just to borrow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. It's a game of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Good strong throw and catch right there. So far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Tenth carry now for Allian. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You know, think of this Thanksgiving Day game, Charles. For years, we've heard the talk. Why don't we open up these Thanksgiving Day games instead of just being Detroit and Dallas every year, give other teams a shot to host? I know you're kind of like me, a bit of a traditionalist, but what do you have to say to that, CD? I think it's a great argument, and the league could support it quite well, where you could move games to different spots and still be very successful on that. You're exactly right. I am a traditionalist. I really don't want Detroit and Dallas to give up those slots. I like the fact that we watch them each and every year. But what I really like is that the league added a third game in 2006. And usually it's division rivals, but that's the third one of the day. Caps up, saw a great, great day of football. Field. And that's going to be incomplete. 
Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. This offense so far on third down, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and eight. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. But they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. That's pulled in at the 32. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive. First and 10. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. Now Prescott. Open man right side, it's Lamb. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. First down, Prescott. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he'll be brought down just shy of 40. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because... He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. He's up to 88 yards receiving in the ball game now, and he's got a first down. Scott. He finds his man complete. It's Schultz. And he'll be marked down right at the 20 yard line. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. Be accurate. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle. You put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Prescott yet again. Steps away to his left. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down. To throw is Prescott. Dancing to his left. And it's caught. And that's a touchdown, but hold on. There is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. when they needed that score, but they'll have to hold at least for the time being. You're exactly right. Points that they had to have.
As you said, they have to regroup now and see if they can get him another way. Prescott from the gun. Got his man complete in the middle. It's Schultz. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Prescott on third and goal. Oh, Prescott stripped. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And the return will stop right around the 25. Brandon, that's the third time he's fumbled so far in this game. And, you know, you can make excuses for each and every one of them. But the bottom line is he's got to take care of it better. And now that he's shown a propensity for fumbling it, just think about what the defenders are trying to do. Yeah, well, guys hate one fumble, twos, oh, my goodness, three or more. Wow. Just doesn't make any sense, does it? Jones now. Following the fumble recovery, he'll throw. Looking sideline in the football and handle that contact but in this case maybe a little too much target to hit that one was timed well incomplete and he's up into at the 33 following a pick up of eight. that was a good one probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big so the defensive is right now we're talking about okay what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started and he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. 85 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. So right after the defense gets you the ball on a takeaway on a fumble recovery of their own, you've got to reward them, don't you? You've got to stay out on the field, give them a chance to rest, and how about doing it the way they did it, running the football and picking it up on third down. Yeah, would not have wanted to go three and out. They avoid that right there. Yeah, they avoided the glares as they went back to the bench, didn't they? So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll bring up a second and short. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Hudson. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 36. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. Gano's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So able to add on to their first half lead here, Charles, forcing the miscue with a fumble and then turning that into three points. Yeah, and more than happy to accept any mistakes the other side is willing to make. No problem. You turn it over, we'll take that, and we'll use it to expand our lead. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we've hit halftime on Turkey Day here in Dallas. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks. No, I'm not mad at you for skipping halftime, but can I just have a sip of water real quick, please? Thank you. 
right, let's go. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Giants about set to go to begin this third quarter. And they've got the lead seed. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. That one goes for 30 yards. As we've seen over the years, offense coordinators will often ease their way into drive. Many of them don't want to risk a turnover or put their defense in a bad spot, but not in this case. Not at all. Forget about easing into it. They took a shot. It worked. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. This pass into the hands of Bellinger. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. He's going to let this go. Back to the end zone. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Kenny Galladay, 37 yards. And the Giants take a three-touchdown lead. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Extra point try, good by Gano. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Prescott, and he's left with no option here but to throw it away. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? On third down, Elliott. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 40 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Now a 
Play fake here on first down. Throw him deep for Galladay. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Barkley inside handoff. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Looking to throw. Jones. And that is incomplete. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Prescott to throw it. Balloting the pressure right. And he wisely will throw that one away. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. That would complete Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. Prescott looks to throw on first. Back to Elliott, and he's got him again. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy in the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. On the option, here's Elliott. And he'll run down inside the 20 at the 19. Four yards the pickup, first down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. They go to Elliott again. And he stopped immediately there. Tay Crowder able to make the play. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Third and short yardage, Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Schultz. And yeah, the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Throwing, Prescott. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Cowboys are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Extra point by Mark. Cut this deficit down to 12. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Taking in at the three. 
and a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. I'm looking at this with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not necessarily so. They gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their and have the offense hit him with a big play. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. Micah Parsons able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on to punt for New York. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him just a yard on the return. And they will take over first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. The tackle there. Jones off play action under a heavy rush and down he goes and now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up to try again after the sack Jones nowhere to go here he lost the football that football back is trailing here in the second half last thing they needed was to lose the possession and the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there their chance to score points but the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession finding space at the 40 and he's going to get this down inside the 40 before he's finally ran it's a big play for the Giants on third down 48 yards that could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them the lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. A handoff to Barkley, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the Shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Jones off the play fake. Flushed out right. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. And he 
he's able to work it here to the eight yard line 102 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long well partner i know this type of running back i mean this size this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on and i can just tell you from experience the first few quarters oh you're eager you come running up there I'm like, and he's got it touchdown giants daniel bellinger from eight yards out and the giants answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead but plenty of scoring here of late and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter yeah, they just gave up a touchdown on the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here. They were able to do so and retake the lead right back. And they are three for three on two-point conversions as he is into the end zone for the score. And boy, figure this one out. Leading here in the fourth, and now they're going to try an onside kick. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. throw is Jones he's gonna let it fly and that is caught one handed oh my pulled it in now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter so the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten now Jones that ball caught by Slayton. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's Jones. To the end. Say the secondary play, whichever side you're on, hasn't really been a glowing exhibition so far, but a nice job there to prevent a long completion. I agree with you, but at some point, someone had to make a play and try and stop this exhibition of almost speed racing that we've been watching, huh? Yeah, it has been quarterback and receiver dominated. And this one incomplete. So the clock stopped now with 20 seconds remaining. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. What a huge mistake late. It's intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch. Just when you thought this game might be turned on its ear, a late interception pretty much going to seal the deal. Yeah, boy, talking about having your backs to the wall. This defense, they look like they were in danger surrendering this lead, but they knew they needed that one play, and they got it right there, partner. And what is going on here? Are they serious? First down, and they're in punt formation. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So the defense helping him out a little bit here late in the fourth. Yeah, and you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, you'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? 
And the 13-year man put... And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. And we've got free football. Four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So the Cowboys going to get the first chance here to search for a winner as we're back underway to start this overtime. And no return here to begin the overtime session. That'll be a touchback. Dallas offense set for this next drive. We think back to halftime, you know, they were close to being written off. They faced the deficit, and now here as we begin overtime, they're one drive away from a comeback victory. Think about where they started and how far they've come back from it. Look, you and I both know that when we talk with coaches, most of the time they don't say that momentum is something that factors into how they coach a ball game because they say each game is its own entity. But within a game, I think they all believe in momentum, and they certainly have it going on their direction right now. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. The give is to Elliott. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Here comes the first throw in OT for Prescott. Flush to his right. It's just First throw here in overtime. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And oh, he's just going to be short here. Barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Here's Brian Anger now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. with a first and 10. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 11. They'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Heavy set out there on third and one. Here's a give to Barkley. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. But we tend to give those running backs that are slashers a lot of credit. But how about guys who are maulers? Because that's what you want in short yardage situations. And we just saw that occur right there, didn't we? Vertical downhill running. That's to Galladay. What a catch. Now he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. And they're going to speed things up here. Here's Jones on first down. Going right back to Galladay. He'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Saquon Barkley. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Off 
Play action. Jones. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. So it all comes down to the right foot of Graham Gano. And now the Cowboys are going to call another timeout. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. This to win it in overtime. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good. And we will play on here in overtime. Oh, that's so deflating, Brandon, because you know he was thinking to himself, just give me a shot. Just put us in a position to win the game, and I'll get it done. With this kick, not on target, and we'll keep going here. Prescott's throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Prescott on third and two. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he'll be out just a yard. situations that's not a bad guy to dial into well when you have to have plays especially in a spot as you just described we're an ot you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays well they say it's not the x's and the o's it's the jimmies and the joes and now the giants they get the officials attention and take another timeout. they'll be left with just one remaining here at ot so on is their kicker, and it's down to this. He was true on his first. This a tough one from 49 yards away. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And it'll be a good time in Big D tonight. The Cowboys have won it. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.